Hey friends, it's Jen from Jen's Extraordinary Life. Welcome back to my channel and thanks for joining me for my make-believe gardening show. Um, today I wanted to give a little garden tour update thing. Um, so I just wanted to show you what's been going on in the garden, the things that I've planted, and then um, we can take a look at some seed storage and other things that are going on. So come on, let's check it out. Okay, so the first thing I wanted to show you guys is something my sister taught me. Um, I'm going to put a link to her channel. Many of you already follow her, but um, I'll put a link to her channel in my description. Um, so Natalie, my sister, um, taught me this. This is how she stores her seeds. And so um, what I've got here is just a couple of three ring binders. These happen to be two inch binders. Um, I'm probably going to need bigger ones, but this is something I already had. And so, um, why spend money when you already have something? So anyway, I've got two of these, one for flowers and one for veggies. And so then I've got these sleeves in here and my sister actually ordered and found these sleeves after much trial and error. I was unable to find the right sleeves that are the right size for my seeds and they're actually trading card sleeves I believe um, but I kept ordering the wrong size from the Amazon and so she actually sent me a pack which I have already filled up with flowers and vegetables seeds um, and so I've had to order another pack so I'll put the link to where she got those so that um, you guys won't have to do what I did and um, keep trying and, and everything. But what I like about these is because they are clear, um, you can keep your seeds in there, but then you can still see what's on the back of the pack. So when you're looking at, um, you know, like the planting times and um, germination time, all of that, you can see it right there. Um, I'm not sure if my sister doubles hers up where she puts some face forward on this set or not. I can't remember. It's been a a um, little bit since I've actually seen her binders, but um, I had enough sleeves to go ahead and just put one kind of flower per. So like in here, I have more than one pack of these bachelor buttons, but they're bachelor buttons. So I kept them in the same pouch, if that makes sense. Um, but once it was a different flower, then I put it in a different pouch. And now I did mine alphabetically because if it were up to me, I could alphabetize the world um, and also color coordinate the world, but you can do them whatever makes sense to you. This is the pack um, of those sleeves. And again, I'm gonna put a link to this in my description where I got these on Amazon, but um, just so you'll know what they look like. And they come, I think 25, what does this say? Yeah, 25 to a pack. So I've got um, an extra binder here just in case I fill these two up. But And then I ordered some things um, recently that I'm really excited about. I want to plant these ranunculus, but in further researching them, I really should have planted these in the fall. But... The verdict is out. I've also seen some school of thought where you could go ahead and plant them in our zone now. So I'm trying to decide. I may go ahead and soak these um, corms this weekend and get them in the ground, but we'll see. And then, I mean, this is just fun. I found this at, I can't remember if it was TJ Maxx or Marshalls this week and Let's see if it says. Oh, I've already taken the price off of it or whatever. But anyway, I thought it would be really fun to plant some strawberries in this colander. And it was like six bucks for this giant colander. And that's cheaper than I could get a pot anyway. So I'm gonna um, probably put something inside to line this and then I'll probably plant that up this weekend. 
Um, but let's go outside and check out my seeds because I planted some amazing things this weekend and we've got some little overachievers out there that I can't wait to show you. So let's go outside. Okay, here are my little overachievers. I literally planted these four days ago. And I mean, <laughs> check these little friends out. We've got lots of zinnias and these um, zinnia envy, they're like a lime green looking flower. So I'm really excited about those. You can see that I planted three rows of those because I was a little bit overzealous with that color. I had never seen them before and so I really wanted them to work and it looks like they're going to take off. I also planted some other zinnias that are the state fair giants and then I had some dahlia seeds. These are an annual dahlia. Um, so we're gonna see. They're already, um, I mean look at them. <laughs> they're already taken off so we'll see. And then I planted one row of forget-me-nots and they're, they're coming up too. I mean, I have really done nothing special to this tray, but we got some little overachievers here. You can see they're all growing towards the sun. So I'm gonna rotate this tray. It's out on my back patio. I'm gonna rotate that um, once I'm finished filming this and I'm gonna probably give them a little bit of water as well. But let's go check out our other seeds and see what's happening. All right, we had a good bit of rain today. You wanna to talk about some other overachievers. Look, <laughs> oh my gosh, I was not expecting that. Look at these bad boys. Okay, literally planted these the same day I planted that other tray four days ago. These I am super excited about. I've never seen this before, but these are pink sunflowers. Um, I found them on Amazon. I don't know how they're going to do, but I mean, judging from what's going on already, I'm going to say they're going to do pretty good. So um, we'll keep an eye on those and see how that turns out. Um, but they're doing better than the stuff I planted weeks ago. So I'll put a link to that too because I got those on Amazon and I have never seen pink sunflowers before. But let's see what we got going on here. Oh my goodness. Talk about sunflowers. These are Lemon Queen and Evening Sun. So yeah, all right. I think it's time to start up potting some of these bad boys. So it only it looks like I only have four out of that tray that oh, we've got some happening down in here so we'll have to go back and see what's going on with that tray but it looks like we've got a little bit going on there let's see what we got in here oh yeah it's time for me to start up potting some of this stuff we have got oh this is that fragrant flower mix so I have no idea what's in here I don't know what all of these are but it was just one of those mixes and so we're gonna see it's kind of one of those like little surprise packets all right over here we have got oh yeah my poppies oh these are this side is the shirley poppies and this side was the iceland poppies and i'm just the shirley poppies are doing great iceland poppies not so much i don't know what happened over there but that's okay you know what we have a long growing season here so like my sister tells me, if you fail, just do it over. All right, what do we got going on here? I can't remember what this is. Oh yeah. I can never say that word, so we're just gonna let you read it. And then pansies were planted in these three rows and they, I got nothing. Oh well, we'll try again. What do we got over here? Some marigolds. These guys need some water. Um, some of them are looking good and some of them not so much. Oh, that poor guy just broke right off. I don't know what's happening there. They definitely need some water though. Um, let's check this out. 
This looks good. This is another one of these old fashioned mixes. So again, I have no idea what's going on in here, but it's gonna have flowers. So that's nice. And then my sweet peas, they were already doing pretty good. So it looks like they're still doing about the same. Larkspur, I got nothing. And what was on this side? Petunias, nothing. I don't know what's happening there. So we'll have to give those a try again. I think if you can see the difference in the soil, I think I didn't, when I potted these, I don't think I added enough water to my potting soil. And maybe that's part of the problem. I don't know, this is trial and error here. We got white moonflower and calendula over here. And all of them are doing good. This is a four o'clock on this side. White moonflower, we've got two of the four that I planted. And then the calendula, we've got several. And that was in both sides, so that's doing good. All right, what's happening here? Some more zinnias. Um, not doing quite as good as my little overachievers in the other pot, but they are doing well. And then my cosmos, still going strong. Again, I think it's about time to start up potting some of this stuff. So that's probably what I'll be doing this weekend. Oh no, my green onions. They, uh, yeah. Well, I'm going to say that's a fail, but good news. Well, we have one. Yeah, that's not looking great. I don't know, but I have good news. I have some green onions growing inside the house. We'll look at those too. What do we have over here? Oh, cilantro, nothing. Spinach, nothing. And basil is growing. Hmm. All right. Okay, my lettuce. My lettuce was doing good, and then I put these out in the sun and took the lid off last week. Maybe they got too hot. I don't know. But I now have two little lettuce plants instead of... I did have one in every cell. And, oh, my bell peppers. My bell peppers never did take off. I don't know what the deal is with that. I don't know. Are bell peppers hard to grow? Y'all tell me. Uh, what do we have here? A butterfly mix. This is a perennial butterfly mix. So I don't know what it is, but it's another one of those mysteries. And this looks like some kind of onion. Yes, yellow onions and red onions. Looks like my red onions are trying to do something and I got nothing on the yellow onions. I'm not doing very good with onions this year. I really didn't do good with onions last year either. I think I have issues. Flocks, nothing. And then bachelor buttons one little sad guy oh we got a couple of bachelor buttons here um another one of those things i just can't pronounce so i don't want to butcher it um uh -oh. looks like we've got some old happening in this one mm, that is some tomatoes dang that makes me sad. All right, we're gonna have to do something about that. Okay, what do we have here? Here's some lettuce that's doing good. Oh, this is my butternut lettuce, butter crunch lettuce and my Paris Island lettuce. All right, that lettuce looks really good, but the other lettuce, not so much. Hmm, I don't know. All right, well, that's what we got going on in the way of seeds. I'm gonna get these watered and then we picked these up last weekend and we are going to put these over here once we clear some of this out and all along underneath that's this is in the back of our house that's actually um, outside of our bedroom so we're going to put these down here and that's where I'm going to plant all of my grow pots that you might have seen in the other videos and um and that's where I'm gonna grow my vegetables along this. They get, um, some parts of the day is shady and then other parts is, um, oh, I got some leaves here on my fingers. That's kind of gross. Um, so some parts of the day is sunny and then others is shady, but let's check out what's happening over here in, in our pots. 
this is a butterfly bush that I thought died in that freeze, but obviously I cut it way back and it did not die, so that's good. Um, these pots are starting. I haven't even planted anything in them yet this year, but something's coming back from last year. And then this is just thriving. Um, I need to prune this rose bush. But this is... If I remember correctly, it's a white rose bush. Over here, we've got some stuff coming back. And this all just started coming back this week. This looks like verbena, I think. This, I believe, is a buttercup. And I don't know what's going on here. I don't remember what this is. But, and who knows, but some stuff's coming back in this one. We'll see. I'm going to clean these pots out and re replant these containers, but we'll see what I can salvage from last year. This gardenia looking a little rough. I think it needs a little bit of pruning. Poor thing. It suffered some damage in the freeze. And it looks like we've got... I don't know what this is. I think this might be verbena also. Hmm. You know what I think this is? Is that growing out of... Actually, I don't know what that is, but it looks the same as this. These big things, that's gonna come up. That was coleus, and it clearly did not make it. Oh yeah, you heard that snap. That's coming out. And then Mr. Lincoln over here, he needs some pruning, but he's got some new growth on him, so he did not die in the freeze. My little bee habitat. Let's see if we got anything happening in there. Is that something happening? I don't know. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> Remember last week? I don't know if you re watched this, but like this was pretty bare, but stuff has already started coming back. We've gotten some good rain and look, this is, I love this plant. This is my black and bloom salvia. I like, I just want to rub these leaves because it smells so good, but I was really hoping that would come back and it did. I'm really excited about it. And this other stuff, I really can't remember. I know this is some kind of daisy. I think it's an African daisy, but I don't remember exactly. And um, these are babies off of this plant, which is a Mexican petunia. And then that's my milkweed. So it looks like it's got some babies coming off of that. The butterflies and the hummingbirds are gonna love that. This is Oh, what is that? I don't remember what that is, to be honest. My bottle brush bush is doing great. I've got um, there's a that is a hydrangea, and this I don't remember what that is. Well, we'll see because it's going to come back soon so that's what's going on out there and then the, this little mom is just hanging on for dear life in this post I was going to dig all of that up but maybe I'll leave him because he's so happy in there and I don't know what I'm going to do with my raised bed yet but I had stuck a mom in here at the end of the year and I mean of all things that's what's coming back and there's a little bit I think this is rosemary pretty sure that's what that is and this actually I think was a petunia we'll see and then nothing survived the freeze in this this little container pot but look what did come back these strawberries that I'm so excited about because they were so delicious last year they're from um Bonnie plants and they 
were absolutely yummy. I was really hoping that they didn't die in the freeze and so they didn't. So really looking forward to that. And then I wanna show you one more funny little thing. I lost my lemon tree. That's not the funny part. But I, I tried to save it by pruning it back and anyway, I'm sure I did not do that justice. But look, I have no idea what this is. I think I dropped something in here. Isn't that weird that it has two different kinds of leaves on there? And look, I have no idea what this is. I fertilized this bad boy, trying to save my lemon tree. And this is what happened. I either dropped a seed in there or apparently a few seeds in there, or somehow this is coming from the soil. I don't know what that is, but anyway, we'll see. Okay, and finally, I'm so excited about this. I had a lot of um, gift cards from Lowe's for Christmas, and we went and they had actually had this, my um, garden cart bit the dust when we moved into this house a few years ago, so I haven't had one, and I've been using um, like a beach wagon. It doesn't do great with soil but I was planning on getting a smaller version of this. But when we went to Lowe's, they had this on clearance and it was a huge clearance for this cart. And so I really didn't have enough with my gift cards, but my husband was like such a good guy and he decided to go ahead and get it for me anyway. And I came home from Bible study today and look what was put together in my front entry. So like I literally walked in the house and this was put together waiting for me. And y'all, it is huge. I actually got, got in there when I got home and sat in there and had plenty of room. It's like when you're a little kid and you get in the wagon. So this is like, that's how big this is. It's tall, it comes up. This edge is about, um, let me see where it hits me. Okay, it's the top of my thigh is where that hits me. So I'm not gonna have to bend over when I'm putting my plants in there and mixing up my soil and all of the things. I got in there and sat in there and made him <laughs> wheel me around the living room just to see how much weight it would hold. And actually I think it says it holds something ridiculous like 400 pounds or something. Um, but we had a little bit of fun with it in the living room today. And the cool thing about it I don't know if I can do it inside the house, but you can take this and let me see if I can do it. You can pull this and look. <laughs> this is what I love. This will actually dump. How cool is that? So if I get my soil in there or whatever, I can lift it up and dump it out. I'm so excited about this, y'all. You have no idea. It also is really... Okay, so these wheels pump up like they actually have real air in them or whatever. But there's a way he was telling me you can take this handle off somehow or part of this handle. Maybe it comes off here. Um, yeah, I think it, this comes out here. And then you slide this handle part down and then in here you can hook this up if you have um like a riding lawnmower or tractor or something and you could pull it behind i thought that was a really cool feature i'll um see if i can find a link on lowe's to this this cart in case you're interested in it all right well that's it for today's garden tour um thanks for stopping by and if you like this kind of stuff, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel. Um, thanks for coming back and make sure to like, comment, and share. And until next time, I hope you have an extraordinary life. Bye-bye.